that man in the spotlight, George Cadet, who had the first attempt in this game. Exton Firmland man, Jackie McNamara, set it up. But Cadet didn't properly connect, and the chance was gone. McNamara, who was omitted from the Scotland squad announced last week, caused his old teammates plenty of problems early on. He sets up Cadet again. And that drive was just inches over. Well, Dunfermline lost 2-0 to Celtic at this ground earlier in the season, but they started just as well as the Parkhead side in this one. Deflected ball finds its way to Britain, and Kerr was wise to that one. That was a close thing for Jerry Britton, who of course was a product of the Celtic Boys Club. He always seems keen to play well against his old heroes, and here he is giving them something to think about. The opening goal, Dunfermline won Celtic nil, 16 minutes gone. Britain gets goal number 14 of the season, set up by Andy Todd's header. Just a couple of minutes later, it could have been two for the Pars. Britain to Hamish French, and that's a real let off. Celtic were without central defender Stubbs and Mackay. That's hardly the ideal way to play against the big men of East End Park. Not pleasant viewing for the Celtic fans. All their favourites fell further behind in the 29th minute when they failed on a number of occasions to clear their lines. Jerry Britton had time to kick the ball back to Harry Curran for the cross, or is that a shot? It doesn't matter, it's in the back of the net. 2-0 to Dunfermline. And could this be their first victory over the Parkhead men since 1989? Kerr didn't have a hope with that ball from Curran. Well, Celtic dominated the remainder of the first half. McNamara set up Brian McLaughlin for the 25-yarder. I mean, Westwater had to look lively there. Into the second half now, remember Celtic are 2-0 down, and here's Phil O'Donnell pulling one back. 61 minutes gone, and the comeback is on. O'Donnell's fourth goal of an injury hit season. Tommy Burns side looking much hungrier now. A typical Paul McStay effort, almost deflected in there. And the Fifers finally lost their lead in the 71st minute. A nice ball from Tosh McKinley, controlled superbly well by Simon Donnelly. And the shot wasn't too bad either, was it? And Furman 2, Celtic 2. Great ball there from Tosh McKinley. It sliced the pars wide open. And Simon Donnelly made it look easy. 